Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Today I'm going to show the Christians, Muslims, and Pagans and Jews something. Something that's going to show you that if you use YouTube, then most likely you're a part of a scam, and you don't even know it. Now what is a scam? What is considered that a fraud? Did you know that whenever you make videos out there and atheists take your videos and put them in their own, they're going to claim that they have fair use. They're going to claim that for some reason they have the right and the ability to take your content, put it onto theirs, and then in the process they will turn on monetization which makes it to where they make money. I want to show you something here that's very important that some of you do not know. This is a new video by the Amazing Atheist where he uses my video in his content. According to the stats and also the analytics, he's going to make $44.57 off of all the people that he has put into his video. You know how whenever you see Venom Thing X or Jesus Freak 777 or one of these Muslims out here who make a video talking about their views and then the atheist grabs the clip and puts it into their video? Whether you're running a podcast or whether you're running it to where you're just simply talking shit about one single person, they get paid for it. And they literally get paid more than you do. And the reason why they get away with this is because YouTube makes money too. Did you know that? When those advertisements and stuff goes up, the company called Full Screen, which is a YouTube network, ends up getting paid for the advertisement from your video being in their clips. All they have to do is just simply claim fair use, and they can sit there and call you names throughout your video. Or let it play all the way through and just make belching sounds and noises. And they're going to get paid 50 bucks. as where you're not going to get paid anything. But it gets worse. These big YouTube company networks out there. They sit there and protect these big YouTube channels. They'll make it to where you can't take them down by reporting them. They've actually got insurance where they can get away with this shit. And it gets worse. Just when you figure to yourself, well, maybe you're going to say to yourself, I'm not here for money. I just want to talk about God. I just want to talk about religion. I just want to express myself. Who cares if somebody's stealing my work and doing all this kind of stuff? Unfortunately, these big YouTube network companies, they have something called Content ID. And what this means is, is that they digitize the video as well as the sound of all these videos where they steal your work. So one day if you manage to work your way up to at least a hundred or a thousand subscribers lo and behold you might wake up one day and find your entire YouTube channel gone because the atheist has set it up as well as the YouTube network to make it out to appear as though You've stolen their content because your videos are actually in their videos and they've made it their work. So one day you're going to wake up and you're going to see that your channel is gone. You're going to see that you've made no money and you've wasted a hell of a lot of time. And then on top of that, people and corporations are making money off of you. And all they have to do is to steal your shit and fucking talk crap. Literally, by me responding to these different big assholes out here and doing what I'm doing, I'm paying their bills for them. They're using my content in order to pay their own bills and feed their fat little faces. It doesn't get any more political than that, ladies and gentlemen. So for all the Christians, Muslims, Pagans, and Jews out there, I want you to remember this. When your content shows up on other people's YouTube channels, it means that YouTube is at work, and the big networks, as well as the people who are involved, they're all completely aware that they're going to get paid off of your misery, suffering, work, and time. As far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm not getting any kind of money or getting any kind of compensation, if I'm not getting any kind of time here, 
then for me it's just a matter of realizing that at the end of the day I can wake up and these people will simply claim that my videos are their own content due to content ID and they'll knock me down. This has happened to me many times and I didn't understand before how it all worked. I didn't realize that these companies and these atheists were all grouped up like this, capable of doing this kind of shit to other people's content and work, but they do. And this is one of the reasons why there is no truce between me and the amazing atheists and many other atheists out there. This is the reason why they're never going to stop pushing and pulling and prodding and fucking around. Because as long as I create content, that's content for them to take and make money off of. I would like to continue to express myself. I'd like to continue to make videos and talk, but not just so I can wake up in the morning and see all my work gone and seeing people get fat and stupid off of my shit. I don't really see a point to continue on, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't. The atheists are just getting richer and they're getting by cheating and stealing and fucking sinning as they do. I just don't see a point. You can clearly see right here. This is a new video too. This just started out. This is going to be picking up more views sooner or later. But you can look all the way down the line. Every one of these fucking videos. Brett Keen, Brett Keen, Brett Keen. All up and down the shit. My name shows up in it because they put my name in the tags. They make sure that in the search engines... Their shit will go above my own because I'm a smaller channel. Why am I a smaller channel? Because they've managed to knock down everything that I have. My work is no longer my own. None of the work and time that I've put in is benefiting my family or my children in any kind of way. That's a hard pill to swallow, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hard pill to swallow to know that people who are already rich and already have everything they could possibly want, they're going to take from the little person. They're going to take from the person who's trying to survive. And this is where I'm at. So, if anyone wants to see any more content from me, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get some kind of pay. I'm going to have to get some kind of compensation for all my work and time. If you actually care about me, and obviously you can realize by the sound of my voice and what I'm telling you that this is extremely destructive to my personality and to my psyche to know that I'm being ripped off and lit literally virtually raped every single fucking day by these type of people. So unless you become a supporter or a patron or show me that you give a shit, I don't see why I should do it. Because if you're not showing any support and care, then it doesn't matter either way. And I'm just not going to continue to do this stuff if my family and I are going to get raked over to coals so other people can make money and corporations can get big. Peace out. God bless.